Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So it is um, Thursday, guys, and it's like 5.47 <coughs> in the evening, and I'm just going to start get, getting dinner ready. I'm going to make some chicken, fried chicken cutlets, Frankie's some tater tots, and I'm going to make a little mashed potatoes or gravy for me and Bill. Bill's working. He won't be home for a while. So yeah, he'll eat later. But, um... I am going to make a little dinner. Um, my stomach has been off. I've had the D word since yesterday, last night. I was open in the middle of the night, like twice. I had to go to the bathroom. Not good. I called the doctor's office finally. I made an appointment for the 15th, but I spoke to the nurse there and the nurse spoke to the doctor and the doctor told me to take probiotics, um, probiotics and, um, to take a modium as for right now. I'm also on antibiotics, so they're not sure if that's contributing to the really to the um, the the volatileness of it the last couple of days. I've only taken three dosages, so I don't know. But he told me to start taking an over-the-counter pro pro probiotic. He said he doesn't think there's anything to worry about. He don't think it's anything major, sorry. He thinks it's just everything with the diet, with the friggin' sleeve and everything. I'm just so done with it. I really am. Anyway, so today I had, um, I got up, I didn't eat any breakfast, but I had a, a chicken patty sandwich with tomato and cheese for lunch. And after that, I had an attack. I had to go to the bathroom. That's all I'm going to say. I took a modium after that, and then I had a little bit after that. Not much, just a tiny drop, and I was hungry, so I didn't want to have anything, you know, greasy or anything like that. Um, so I had a banana with a little peanut butter, and I had a little incident after that, but very, very little. So now I'm going to make dinner, and I'm going to take some modium. And, um, and my son happened to have a probiotic that he doesn't use anymore that's still good till January, like a, almost a full bottle, so he gave it to me. So I started taking that already. So that's what I'm doing. In the meantime, I gotta take my antibiotic yet. I gotta take my other pills today. You know, I'm on all kinds of medicine still. It's just crazy, guys. I, I mean, I thought by losing 125 pounds, I'd be off all this freaking crap. I'm not yet fully, and it's just really one thing after the next. But anyway, how is everybody doing today? I'm doing okay, considering everything. Yeah, so let's just get started um, and get these chicken cutlets cut up and breaded. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. All right. I'm not going to make an enormous amount of these because I'm just going to make what we eat because I'm really, I have so much stuff in the refrigerator. Sorry, guys, I meant to do a, um, I, I was going to do a video today of cleaning out my fridge and everything, and I couldn't, just didn't feel that great, so I didn't do it, but I will, I have to do it either later or tomorrow, so I don't know. When I do it, I'm going to definitely film it, so you guys won't miss it, but um, I just didn't feel up to it today, I really didn't. Um, sorry guys. Yeah, I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed, I got, um, um, honestly, right now, because I opened up my fridge and I have a lot of stuff in there that I have to use and use up, and I'm not, I'm not buying anything else, that's it, I'm done, because I, I just, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all of it. You know what it is? I don't want it to be wasted. And so it's like, it's staring at me when I open up the fridge and it either, I mean, like I had um, leftover chicken thighs in there, bone in chicken thighs that I had in the fridge that we used um, over the weekend. And <clears throat> I just saw them in there. I got like six left in there and they're in, the, and they're in a Ziploc bag. So I was like, oh my God. So I took them and I put them in the freezer immediately. I have ribs in there that I bought yesterday that I got to eat that. I just bought those, so those are okay for now. 
um, but I have a big thing of chopped meat. I have chicken drumsticks. So all this stuff has to be eaten. And the thing is, is that, you know, I, I buy like the family pack still. So I think what I have to start doing is just breaking them down and putting them in the freezer in smaller sections because um, I, um, this way I have smaller portions ready to be cooked and I have to use the whole thing and then let the others go to the fridge and then go bad, you know what I mean? So I, I gotta, I'm gonna have to start doing that. If I continue to buy the big packages. I buy the big packages because they're on sale. You know, that's normally what I do, you know, and we would always eat the big packages, but we just don't eat the volume of food that we used to eat anymore. We don't, and I just don't want it to be wasted because number one, I can't afford for it to be wasted. I don't have that much, you know, going on right now with money. Um, getting caught up in all that stuff with, you know, missing freaking um, two, uh, a month, six weeks of paycheck. Um, so, um, that, that, and I just don't want to be overwhelmed with all that food, you know? I just, yeah. Um, so the, you know what I mean? That's the, that's the thing. That's the situation. But it always seems to be like when I, when I make like just enough where I make, you know, a little bit or whatever, I always, it always seems to be that I needed more at that point. But you know what? It's just going to have to be enough because I, I can't, I can't do it. I just can't. So I have, let's see, four chicken cutlets here. My son will probably eat three. Billy will eat two, so that's four or five. I'll eat one, one or two, one, two, you know, maybe one big one or just one, two smalls. And so um, I'm just gonna make one, I'm just gonna cut up one more. I'm not gonna, I'm not making an over and amount because I always make, like, when I make an over and amount, I say, oh, they'll eat it or they'll save it for later. Nah, it's not, it's not working. Right now, it's not working for me. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's gonna have to be enough for everybody, and it always, it always, I always have enough food, but it's not that. It's just that um, I just don't want to be overwhelmed with with leftover, you know, leftover leftovers because then I have to put them in the freezer. Then I gotta remember to eat them, and then you know, it's just a pain in the ass. So. Something um, yeah, so I got one long chop here, and this is what happens. I had a chop in there that I had in there, and I remembered I had it, and I and I got it out to make it tonight with this with this meal, and it didn't smell the perfect to me. So I'm like, I'm not taking a chance. It's chicken. So there you go, in the garbage. From now on, I'm going to take a piece, this piece of chicken right now, and guess what? I'm going to put it in a small Ziploc bag. I'm going to write on it. And I'm going to put it in the freezer because I can't handle it anymore with wasting. It's just, it's just too much. <clears throat> ever, ever. I, I mean, I never want to waste. You know, I, I, I always work very hard on trying not to waste, especially in really hard financial times. You know, you don't want to waste anything ever. But um, you just got to be, you know, it's just, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy, so how are all you guys doing? I don't know. I mean, let me just get very dark. I wouldn't. Oh, that's great to know. Um, I'm just listening because these these were in my in my garden. They were on a plant that I, I didn't know what they were. I, I, I didn't I didn't um I think they're blackberries, but I didn't um I didn't plant blackberries or blueberries or anything. So I don't know. So I asked my friend Jerry Allen from Cooking with Neighbors, go check her channel out. She's awesome. Um and she said she thinks they're blackberries, but they're dark, so she didn't she wouldn't I said, Do you think that they're safe to eat. She said, I wouldn't eat them because 
I don't know, they, they might be um, fairies and they're usually toxic. So meanwhile, they're on, they're on my plants in, in my garden in there and like Cooper's always sticking his nose in there. I'm afraid he's gonna eat them. I'm gonna have my husband rip them all out of there because I'm, I'm nervous now. But anyway, uh, so I'm not, I'm, they smell like blueberries. They smell, also look like raspberries and smell like raspberries too. So I'm not gonna take a chance, uh, I, unfortunately. I wanna eat them because they look so good, but not worth it. So there you go. <coughs> so I went in my garden before and I got out all the, all the, um, the rest of the tomatoes that were there. Got a whole bunch, a couple of red, a little, some of the little um, cherry tomatoes were red and a couple of the big ones had a little bit of, you know, little spots of red. But I'm telling you, none, no big ones turned red in my, in my garden. I didn't have one big tomato that was fully red. All the ones that are red now, I took out. I, I, um, I took out of the garden and, you know, and, and harvest them. I harvested them, that's what they say, they call it. And then they, um, and then I uh, finished them in here. Now yesterday I had the permanent marker and I bet you any amount of money. Now I have no, no idea where it was. And yesterday I was very excited because I found it. I found it, but you know what I did? I didn't put it back. So now, um, I, um, I don't have it. So now I can't write on this. Uh, let me see if the pen will work. Chicken, oh yeah, there we go. I don't know if they'll stay. Chicken cutlets. And today is 8.31. 8.31. So I'll put this in the freezer now. And this way, it won't go bad. Ah, oh, Linda, 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 Linda. Um, so I was reading up too on, um, I didn't ask the surgeon's office. I should have freaking forgot. I was reading up on aspartame if it gives you, um, the D word. And it said sometimes it can give you the D word. So I have one cup, fin like a half a cup, a half a thing here. I don't know what I should do. I don't know if I should drink the rest of it or just start it over. But all I know is that I can't just drink plain water, so I'm gonna have to start putting lemons in it and some fresh fruit because um, I can't drink plain water, it's gross. Anyway, I found some str lone string beans that were hanging out in my garden, guys, that I didn't know were there. I went through all the plants and saw everything that the basil's done, the, the parsley, I don't even see it. So, but I found these string beans. So I'm so excited. Like these lone little string beans, the last thing. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna cook those tonight with, with dinner and stuff and have that. All right, guys, so I'm gonna spread these up. I'm not using egg, I'm just gonna use water. Um, let me get the frying pan. So...
Put some olive oil in the pan. Um, let that heat up. Spread these This is Italian breadcrumbs, seasoned breadcrumbs, so they're already seasoned, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna add any more seasoning to it today. So yeah, so I got to do some last minute stuff. I got to order the cupcakes yet. I got to pick up a couple more things, a handful of things that I need to pick up. Um, so I have to do a couple more things as far as for the shower itself, craft wise that I'm working on. And, um, you know, the last minute stuff that has to be done. But what are you doing? You have food, and then Mommy gave you that food already. Eat your other food. You got other food in there. Go ahead. fried chicken cutlets in a while so I had chicken cutlets down there in the refrigerator so I'm like let me make fried chicken cutlets tonight get rid of these chicken cutlets and um you know make them up what are you doing buddy what are you doing Trying to get rid of this cold, you know, seems to be a little bit better, but I'm still feeling a little congested, so I'm just trying to do what I'm supposed to be doing. And keep it all, keep it at bay because the shower is next week, and I don't need to have any issues. You know what I mean? Because I'm the host, and I gotta be there. I gotta, it's my thing. And, it ain't happening unless I'm here. <laughs> I refuse to let it happen. It'll all be fine. But, um, yeah. All right, let's get these in.
four. Okay. Should be able to fit four in here comfortably. Other ones going. So I'm making seven. Of paper or something. Mm -hmm. Chicken cut fried chicken cutlets are. Very popular in my in my family growing up. My mom used to make them all the time. It was one of our favorite meals. So good. So it brings back memories of my childhood. I'm going to watch that these don't overcook because they overcook. It's forget about it. that in a minute because I don't like them I don't like them like brown like like really brown I like them pretty light another one in here. <coughs> yeah. So I'm just going to let these cook a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is make a thing of instant mashed potatoes. And I'm probably going to make a little pack of gravy, a can of gravy too. Because Bill likes gravy with his um, chicken cutlets. And that's probably what I'll do. Try to get out of him those um, tater potties. Uh, let's see how many more minutes they have. They got like two more minutes. I think they need like another five minutes. And they'll be good. Um, let's get a plate out.
you know what, we'll just use a paper dish tonight because I don't feel like having a lot of dishes. tonight. Alright guys, my thermometer's disappeared. Gone. Don't know where it is. I gotta buy a new one so I don't have my thermometer. So I'm just gonna have to check these with the knife because um, that's the only thing I can do. And I gotta make sure that they're done. But I can't overcook the meat. I'm just going to put the light on for a minute, guys, because I won't be able to see. I'm sorry you guys can't see because of the glass. But I need to see. Okay, that's raw still. I don't want them to get brown more than... That's raw still. Let's check this one out. Another minute and that one will be done. I hate to cut the cut because I'm going to have this one today. That's almost done. Can't eat raw chicken. And that's almost done. I'll give it another couple of minutes. Yeah, that one too. Take another minute and then you will be able to be turned. So what I got was um, this. I'm going to make this. Very simple to make. And I'm going to make this can of gravy. And I might, um, I might make the can of corn. I don't know. I had corn on the cob in there from the other day. I got to see if I still have it. It might still be good. I'm trying to think. I think I had it over the weekend. So I got to check it out and see. This one's done. That plate, that plate ain't gonna cut it. It really is. I'm gonna have to suck it up. Cause it ain't gonna cut it. This one's done. This one's a little bit thicker. This one's a little bit thicker. I'm sure like this one, but in a second. They'll be done. Ow. Yeah, so Frankie's tater tats are done already. Um, I'm gonna do something. Use it done. water on because I have these string beans that you know I just picked I told you So um, I have these. I'm going to open this up. 
and put some of them in there. These are already cleaned. I'm just going to snip the ends off of them. They're looking good, guys. They're looking good. I'm just going to make a small handful of these string beans because Bill might have a couple, but he's not going to really have much of this. So, but I like to eat, I like to have them left over too because I like to eat them right out of the refrigerator. Cold, I always do. Always do. So good that way. So this is what I'm doing, guys. I'm just cutting the, the ends off of them. Just do a couple more. Because like I said, I really like these old ones. I like these um, cold and, you know, even reheated. Or I like to put them in salads if I have them left over. Hi, buddy. Ow, that was my toe. Cooper likes to come over and step on those toes. Mm. The sore ones are pretty, um, are pretty sweet. So what I'll do is I'll, um, let these boil like five, six minutes, and then, um, I'll take all the water out and just put a little garlic and a little, um, butter in with them because, um, I like them to have like a little crisp to them. It's so good. So comment down below what you guys are having for dinner. Curious. Put a little salt. Oh, I gotta open up the um, ingredients. Oh, where is that pot? Oh, God. Must have been something else with it. Oh, no, here it is. Can of beef, great value, crazy. I buy the packets or I buy cans. I season it up with some garlic, salt, some pepper. And I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder. I'm not, I'm trying to go a little bit lighter on my seasoning because um, my friend told me that she read 
that um, after you have the, the gastric sleeve, sometimes spices don't agree with you. You know, a lot of spices. So I'm going to just go a little bit easier and see if anything, if it, you know, helps in that way. But I'm still going to season because I can't not season. There's no way. No freaking way. So I'm just putting that gravy on low. What are you doing, buddy? You want to go out again? You've been in and out all day today, like 15 times. I'm actually shutting the flame off. And I'm just going to let them sit in here because I don't want these to get really, really black. But I think they need a couple more minutes. So, yeah, I think Koopa wants to go out again. You want to go out, Koopy, bye? Go out? Yeah, you probably want to warm me out of here so we can get the chicken cutlets. Because they're right here on the counter. He's smart like that. Alright, let them boil. I'm keeping this, this breadcrumb mix because I just want to make sure that I have enough chicken. What are those dogs? I don't know. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow. And I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers, guys. It's 12, um, 86, I think. And so I'm trying to get to 2,000 by the end of this year. So tell your friends, share my videos, like and share, comment down below, and not and hit that notification button because when you hit the notification button. It, um, it, it, uh, you, YouTube recognizes my videos and they'll recommend me more. So, that, if that, if you could do that, I would really appreciate that, guys. I'm trying to build a channel so I can do more stuff for you guys and just really, you know, keep at it and all that. So, I, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for your support always. I appreciate all of you. And there's going to be a lot of fun things coming up on this channel. Some Bill and I things, some me things. Just some good stuff. So look forward to all of that. Alright. I'm gonna check this chicken. Just give it a a little check on the thicker side. Yeah. Definitely done. So he went to the door to go out, and now he's eating. And he was eating right before that. Yes, he does. He was eating before he did that, so I don't understand why he went to the door. I don't know. I will let that cool there. These are going to come. These are going to be drained now. Let's put some a little bit of salt on here. I'm not going to put tin foil over it because I don't want the crunchiness to go, to get soggy. So I'm just going to put a paper towel over it. Like this. And that's all I'm making, so I don't need to save this because I'm done. And then what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to put a little piece of butter in with uh, string beans. I'll show you this. And a little salt. Give 
this little mixy mix. A little bit of onion powder. I can just, just figure out how to open it, stupid thing. garlic powder and then I'll put a little bit of garlic not a lot of garlic because I told you what I'm trying to do but I gotta season up I can't not have seasoned food so I whoop <laughs> you see that the, the the string bean went in the gravy it's probably good I'm gonna leave it on there, let it cool, and then I'm gonna taste it and see how it is. So I guess I forgot about the corn idea. That's all right. We'll have corn another night. So all I have to do is boil two cups of hot water, you know, boil water, put it in. I put a little butter. It doesn't call for milk or anything, but I put always put a little bit of milk in mine. And you mix it up, guys. These are the best. This brand, this is Aldi brand. This is one I used to always buy when I went to Aldi regularly. But um, they have it in like the name brand, and they also have it in the like the in the great value brand you can buy that just as good it serves me and bill and some because i only eat a little bit um and it's really really and it's like 99 cents or 88 cents really really good try it out try it out so i'm just going to heat up what i do is i heat up two um two cups of hot water in the microwave you know i heat it up till it boils and that's it. And you got mashed potatoes. Let me get the garlic. Let's taste this, guys, in the gravy. Mmm. That's really good. I like that. I got news here. It is just about done. I wish my my um my um taste buds are still not bad. Not fully. They're definitely better, but they're not fully back. I'm gonna shut this off. And let the gravy just come for a little bit of a simmer. And then guys, we're ready to eat. Simple, not a big mess, very little, and um, what was that coming in here for? There was a reason. Oh, the milk. Um, I have to figure out, a, I, I have a little bit of a dilemma because, ugh, guys, I don't even want to get, I don't even want to go through this, tell me this. Um, if you're new here, fairly new, you won't probably know about my car situation. La a year ago, my husband and I, you know, um, were able to afford two cars that we paid it straight out for. So we went to this car dealership, we got thought thinking that it was a reputable one and thinking it was a good one that from word of mouth and just places and no in Pennsylvania we live in New York we went to Pennsylvania to make a long story quick short I'll tell you it again someday everybody who's been on my channel for a long time knows we bought both of the cars I drove mine out of the, I drove mine out of the um, out of the out of the dealership came home from Pennsylvania to at three hours to home and um, the next day my car was giving me issues so to make a long story short the uh, it, it's you can't even make it short you cannot even make this story short anyway it's a year later almost a, well no it's a year later I don't have the car the car's engine blew up a week 
two weeks after I got the car, the, 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 the car dealership wouldn't, wouldn't take care of anything. So I'm in the process of, of suing them. I'm going to be suing them. I'm um, actually, I, I have two years to do it. And two, and, and like with all this financial stuff going on, I have to come up with like the money to, to actually, you know, get a lawyer because I'm getting a lawyer to do it. Um, so, um, after the wedding and the, um, and the shower and stuff, I will have the, the funds to go for that and do that because I'm not letting this go because what they did to us was so wrong. Was, we were so wrong and so effed, so screwed. You have no idea. $12,000 car, a $12,000 car that I paid out straight for and I don't have the car. Okay. So anyway. That's that's the reason I'm I'm in this dilemma and and like I only have one car now and we can't, we, we haven't been able to afford another car whatever yet and um and so I have stuff to do for the shower and Billy Billy's like on call tomorrow work and he's working so like I only have a week I have to get there's only a certain amount of days that I have you know some things are time sensitive I have to order I have to pay for things I have to this and so tomorrow I thought I was gonna have a vehicle and now I'm not gonna have a vehicle. So I'm feeling really frustrated because I feel like I need, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm trapped. I feel like I'm trapped. Could I take an Uber? Yeah. Who wants to pay for an Uber? I can't afford that. I can't just be throwing $40 out of, out of my pocket. No freaking way. But I need to get some stuff done. My, my son's working. My daughter works. I don't know. So I'm just really, I'm really frustrated, guys. So that's why I might, if you think I'm a little cranky, that's a little bit why I'm cranky because I'm just... Just kind of frustrated. So, yeah. This is my life right now. So, um, I'm trying to figure out, you know. Oh, I got the milker. The thing is, guys, is that, you know, I could ask a friend. But I don't want to depend on anybody. I, don't, I want to just go myself. I want to get in my car or a car and just go and do what I need to do. I don't want to have to ask somebody. I have a friend that will take me places and all that, but I don't want to do that. I, no offense to her or, or them or anything. I just want to get in the car and go myself, you know? And um, so I don't know. This is the deal. So I might, I don't know, I might take a cab tomorrow. I'm going to see if, um, how much the cab is a taxi. Because I'm no, there's no way I'm taking an Uber. No, no, no way. An Uber is outrageous. Even one way, it's outrageous. I'm not. I refuse to do that. So that ain't happening. And besides, I don't even. I don't even feel safe taking an Uber or a taxi. I, I'm, I'm nervous about all, the whole thing. I don't. I don't. I'm not one that. I don't really feel comfortable taking those type of things. I really don't. I don't like getting in the car with people I don't know. And I, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared of that. Honestly, I'm a little scared of it. All right. So everything is done. So this I just have to mix up. I put a little, um, you saw a piece of butter. A piece of butter, a little bit of heavy cream because I have it and I need to use it. Pepper. Sometimes I season the water. I didn't season the water, so I'm just pull it, putting a little salt and pepper in it. It already has garlic in it, so I'm not going to do that. And I don't need to over-season it with garlic right now. Just trying to give my stomach a little bit of a break, guys. All I had today was a banana with a little peanut butter. And I had that chicken sandwich. And I didn't even have a roll. I had chicken sandwich with, with tomato and with some pickles and a couple of cucumbers. Did you know that pickles are a probiotic? I didn't even know that. And pretzels too, they said to eat pretzels. Can <laughs> you believe that? Meanwhile, I love pretzels and I always eat pretzels. But yeah, they, they say because of, because of the salt, like, like the pickles are good. Because I guess it's salt that helps your gut. I don't freaking know. I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> I don't. All I know is that I need people to pray for me. 
Well, things are all right. Things will be okay, guys. We've got a lot to look forward to. I'm so excited about Julie's shower. Even with all the stress, it's been such a, so much fun planning it and doing it and just really, and I'm enjoying it. So just trying to get through the rough times. But, you know, everybody has rough times. I'm not the only one who's going through rough times. I pray for everybody every day that's going through rough times. I, I, it's not just me. Like, I know. I know it's not just me. So um, I pray for everybody. All right, let's shut that off. Gravy's done. Now, look at all this makes. This mashed potatoes, it makes, um, I mean, that's so crazy. Um, this makes four and a half cup servings. So, four people can eat this. So, people that eat normal <laughs> can eat this. You know what I mean? Can eat off of this. Uh, all right. That's it, guys. That is dinner right there. In a nutshell. Let's put this away. We still have a little in here. I'm not going to throw it out. Because heavy cream is very expensive. So you guys can use every bit. together. Let me get my plates together. Here's the chicken. You know what I like on my chicken cutlets? My mom used to always put out with us for it. Lemon. Squeeze a lemon on them on, on chicken cutlets and pork chops. It's so yummy. I got an odium here. I gotta take my emo I gotta take ammonium because if I don't, I could end up in the bathroom and I just can't do it. I just can't. All right. I hope it's not TMI, too much information, guys. But I share everything with you guys, you know. So I'm gonna share that. All right. I I'm not using a paper dish with this meal. I just one scoop of mash potato. Let's get a piece of chicken. What, cut, what piece do I want? How does this piece seem? Does it seem tough? No, it seems good. I put some aside for my husband. Let's go. Um. <coughs> I'm just trying to find the, the, the um, I'll put these aside, and then Frankie can have those. This is for our hubby, and if I want another half a piece. And have this. Let's get some string beans. Mm, these look so good, guys. Sometimes I put some grated cheese on them. I didn't this time. String beans. And I'm going to put a little gravy. I'm on my ashed. And I'm going to get lemon out. Frankie doesn't have gravy usually. Let's get the top. tin foil over the potatoes. And you guys, here we go. Let me get the lemon. Oh, God, 
these lemons aren't even good. Can I tell you guys, I don't even have good lemons. And I used to have lemon, lemons like on a regular basis. And like we used to go through them, like forget about it. But we just don't eat them anymore. We just don't eat it at the volume that we used to. We just don't. So here we go. So I have this. Eh, I'm not crazy about it. That's not my favorite, but it will do. I like it a little bit on my string beans. I'm probably going to heat this up. I don't know. I like my food hot, but uh, honestly, I never eat hot food anymore because of the freaking sleeve. Because you can only eat a little bit at a time, so it's, you know, ridiculous. So these are Imodium. So I'm going to take these. I swear to God, have you ever tried to open these? Have you ever tried? Because it's like it's like trying to get into a safe at the bank. There's, there's just, they're impossible. Look, they're impossible to get out. Now I got, I just have no patience. Like I, I just want to open it up and go. I don't want to be, I think I did it wrong. That's why. I mean, what do you got to do? Do you have to go to Harvard? I think you do. I think you have to go to Harvard um, Law School in order to learn how to get these freaking things out of here. Because it's always it's always a task. And I'm just not going to sit here. I'm not. I don't have the patience. I don't. Ow. Just don't cut yourself, Linda. <sighs> I just want to sit down. I just want to sit down and eat my dinner. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. Is that so wrong? Is it? God, what a miracle. What a miracle that is. I put those two over there. Let's take this and then let's eat. taste it for you guys. <coughs> Let's taste it. Chicken. That's really good. I'm going to put this in the microwave for like 20 seconds because I need my mash to be really hot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share and like and comment down below. And don't forget again to hit that notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share, comment down below because you guys know I love it when you comment. And don't forget to hit that, notif that notification button bell again because YouTube will recognize my videos and they will, and they will put them out there. And I really, really appreciate, guys, if I can grow this channel. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by next, by the end of this year. Thank you so much. Even if you don't subscribe, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all your loyalty and all your, your watching and, and always being here. I really, really do, guys. And good night.
gonna go eat my dinner now, okay? Bye guys, see you on the next one. Hope you're having a great night. See you on the next one, bye.